What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the 7th episode of Kimonji Head. This one's titled Home. Uh, I'm not quite sure where we're going with this one yet, but I guess we'll see. Um, so last time out, we wrapped up the whole mosquito kimono thing that was going on with the, the company Bug Bites, which was a uh, you know, bit, little bit on the nose, but sure, we'll go with it. Um, so yeah, we wrapped up uh, with that. Uh, Shiki had a bit of a flashback to uh, a bit of his backstory. And um, we're starting to develop him a little more uh, as time goes on, which is quite nice because uh, we've um, we've uh, uh, explored Akira's backstory a bit, and now we're exploring Shiki's. So we're kind of getting all the backstories now, which is quite nice uh, as expected of a mid-season. Um, the uh, the lead mosquito, uh, what was her name, um, Reika, uh, actually feeds off her sisters in order to power herself up and take on Kabane, which she is winning, uh, but it's only thanks to Mihai pointing out to Kabane, like, you're using your human strength right now, which is extremely good, but it's still only a human strength. You need to unlock your kimono abilities, essentially, to in order to use that, and he used his desire to protect Akira and Shiki and keep them alive to uh, allow him to have control over that uh, essentially rage that he had when um, his uh, stone was taken from him back in like episode 1. Um, so now he has actual control over it for short periods at least. Um, that allows him to uh, defeat uh, Reika by ripping off one of the arms. Um, which, okay, looks like we're going to win. Uh, and then we have uh, Nobimaru, the uh, replacement uh, kitsune for um, Inari, uh, that um, has obviously taken uh, Khan's place and left Khan out in the woods or in the park or wherever the hell she is right now. Um, but yeah, uh, Nobimaru, in complete contrast, is like, yeah, I don't like Inari, and she kind of wants you to give up your um, your um, lifestone naturally just to not annoy uh, uh, what's his face? Um, Inigami. Uh, and he's like fully, like, clearly just saying exactly what he wants. And I think it warns him to, um, warns him, warns Kabane about stuff. Uh, and seems to be implying Con in that, uh, aspect. Uh, especially since at the very end, Kabane actually remembers, oh, wait, I was meant to meet Con that night. Uh, and it's like a couple of days later about this point. Um, them two together are adorable, um, but again, it seems like, uh, Nomaru is, like, not trusting, or realizes that this might be the place where Kabane could give it up, or, I'm not quite sure what the implication of that is, but he seems to be implying something with all that, um, but they are adorable. I'm hoping home means Con might find a home here. Uh, because her living out in the park is probably not going to be good for her, so uh, we should probably address that at some point, and hopefully that's what this episode's about, but I guess we'll see. Uh, we've got, we have a new case to work on probably anyway, because uh, we're case-free right now, technically, so we'll see anyway. Um, as per usual, though, uh, these are time-based formal actions here on YouTube. If you want to see full picture and picture, you can go to my Patreon down in the description below. £4 a month case for access to all picture picture actions I do, which is everything from this season and future seasons. Patreon requested shows such as uh, School Live, uh, World Trigger and such. Um, certain back data shows will be going on there as well. In, in the breaks between seasons, I'll be uh, adding more stuff there. So uh, things like Madoka Magica Side Story, Bofuri, that have confirmed sequels coming up soon. Uh, I'll be trying to work them in. I've already got more out of the Patreon on there, uh, which will be getting part two uh, in April. So I'm excited to see that. Um, but here on YouTube, we do time based. So, bottom left of the screen, you'll see the time of the episode. I count down 3 to 1 play. Then, on play, you start the episode, I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. We're watching this one on Funimation since that's who licensed it this season. We have the Bandai visual logo, then the Funimation logo, so about 11 seconds near enough of our logos. I'll call them out as they go past. You can also use screen flash on my face or the mic to tell when the scene is transitioning. So, with all that said, let's get into this week's episode, shall we? In 3, 2, 1, play. Bandai visual. Funimation. Cheers. Here we go. Oh. 
Okay, we're going to see parents. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> OP time. All right, episode seven, home. So we're going to Shiki's home, probably. Aha, an uncle. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Legend of Nishikiguma? Okay. Oh. Hmm. Oh. How convenient there's a spider folk story as you get spider commander powers. Hmm. Who's this? Right. <laughs> Hmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes.
I can see that. <laughs> mm hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Ha. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Very short backstory explanation. I wonder if there's a bit more to it. Yeah, Inagami's. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Think it, don't say it. Huh. Oh. <laughs> the least of the least. Uh-huh. That's why you have the headphones. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Gem with a creepy voice. Something's going on with that. <laughs> uh. 
Uh, where's he going? Yes. What point are you making here? Where did Shiki go off to, by the way? The hell's up with the tree? What are we remembering? Who's calling out to us? Is Mother still alive? Why, Kira? Hmm. That's when you found her dead, probably. Or maybe not her dead, but her true form. Probably her true form, if I had to guess. Likely. Hmm. What? What? Oh. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. Oh boy.
from the mother. That's fucked. But, hmm, 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 that's Oh, really? <laughs> well, he doesn't know that morally yet. <laughs> Damn it, Kabani. Oh, uh, well. Well. Well, you're not going to be able to. Oh, she will be. Did I say she again? I... Oh, I'm terrible. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Did you forcefully try to take it? That's why. Hmm. Mm-hmm. 
had to keep going. Oh shit. Mm-hmm. Right. Ha. Huh. Yeah, well. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh. Uh -huh. That's creepy as fuck. Yes! You would be traumatized! Jesus. Oh, fucking hell. Our or your? Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Episode 8 Truth. Fuck, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. That was way more messed up than I expected. Holy shit. That's way more fucked than I thought they were going with this. I just thought, oh, he's going to forcibly extract the silk from her and. No, it. Oh, God. Oh, oh, God. Jesus. This was fucked. That entire storyline is fucked. I love it. <sighs> yeah, yeah, that, that is fucked. Um. Yeah, as soon as you, like, it was like halfway through the episode, it's like, is that really all this, his backstory is going to be? No, it can't be it. There's got to be more to it. There's still some ambiguousness whether the mother's alive or not, though. I mean, he said she's dead. But who's been calling his name this entire time? Is that just his imagination or what? Hmm. Will he go through with it, though? Will he go through with it and kill him? Like, it certainly sounds like he will. Is Inogami going to stop him? Sounds like Inogami is really just giving him the choice and, like, letting him explain his piece, hear it all out, and then make the decision whether he's going to kill him or not. Will he follow through with it, though? Does he have it in him to follow through with that? I don't know. I get the feeling he might try, and then all of a sudden his mother might appear to stop him. I don't know.
Hmm. God damn. What a good episode, though. Like, seriously, what a good episode. Like, that is very... Uh, it's a very dark storyline. I love it. Just shoved in there right at the end. You insert the darkness to it, but... Yeah, that was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. I love that episode a lot. We still got to continue on with it next time and see what the actual conclusion is of it, but... Despite the lack of Khan, who is still my favourite character, uh, it was just a fantastic episode. And... It wants to do dark storylines, and I appreciate that. This could be quite a happy-go-lucky type story, but no, they want to go dark with it at times. And for that, I'm... I'm more than welcoming that sort of thing. God, yeah. I love it. I love that this show wants to do the darker stories. I love it. Anyway, that's going to do it for you guys. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, it caught me off guard, but it was so, so entertaining. Um, don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the episode as well as your comments and what you thought. Uh, both help in terms of engagement and that will drive the channel forward. Uh, don't forget to subscribe as well to see next week's episode as well as the rest of the Winter 2021 line you can find on the channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you guys later.